Let's see what we got. Oh, um. Buying moving supplies, Home Depot and Walmart shopping, and therapy update. Who gives a f Weigh in, weight loss visual representation, still ordering takeout, and a grieving heart. Who gives a f Drama regarding my breakup, retail therapy, and haul, new purses, decor, etc. vlog. Who gives a f I'm not okay. Moving furniture and another way in vlog. Who gives a f Um. Does anyone believe that she's not okay with this breakup? I feel like she's like, alright. Like, I guess there's, I've got like a fing hour and a half to find out if that's true or not, so. <sighs> oh, enhanced bitrate if I watch in 1080 premium. Guys. YouTube Premium, wonderful investment, wonderful, cancel f***ing Netflix, just watch YouTube videos. Hello, so <laughs> I'm wearing the same dress as I was wearing uh, yesterday because I slept in it. Like I said, I'm having some bad habits and that is, is she one in of them. a fucking dryer right now? What, is this? what like, am I looking at? I don't know. Everything just feels really hard right now and nothing feels like it matters. Like, oh. Changing to a uh, PJ. A gonna, PJ? Just, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> but I wanted to wake up today and just like. Why is she? Why is she like cosplaying as someone who's upset? I really don't understand this. <sighs> Finally, take care of myself again, and that's why we're gonna do like you know a weigh-in. I'm depressed because we broke up, so now I don't need to change into pajamas. I have therapy today okay. and i'm really excited for all that um i've been awake for a little bit i just i don't know i'm kind Haven't of dreading getting out of bed yet? i've made some important phone calls um we have twinkie being a sweet hi yeah it's don't just weird to have me. the whole bed to myself code willow everybody but yeah code i've been therapy and uh it's been some weeks so oh, <sighs> oh that's funny how that works that's fucking funny how that works. That now that it's not absolutely required, you're like, eh. Therapist is about to learn. Thunderstorm outside. And a lot has gone down because my therapist doesn't know that I am not getting weight loss surgery anymore. My therapist doesn't know about the breakup, like oh my about God. me moving. Like, you're going to have to fucking pay them overtime for this so shit. It's going to be like kind of a, a big appointment, um, <laughs> a really big update word vomit probably a lot of tears but i like to do my makeup for therapy because they have to stare at I'm my face all good, day sorry. and i know she she be ugly so um yeah i'm gonna get up now and go shower and get ready for the day and weigh myself i have a feeling i'm i've gained some weight so i just feel it my lymphedema feels like swollen and hard and uh, yes, I'm just your lymphedema is tingling Needs so much water your lymphedema like, has so much sodium senses are so, tingling go i had so much sodium so i just got done crying and being sad good, while good. doing my makeup good and then i look out by the window and Who's there's this? just this butterfly fucking sicko looking in the window just being beautiful and i've never seen a must have eaten wormy butterfly right there ever it closed its wings what does that mean is it okay this could probably because becky demanded that all the <laughs> blinds be shut at all times it's still there it's that guy right there but i always heard that butterflies are good luck i don't know how about those spotted so I lantern give you guys flies a update on my building of legos wannabe legos oh boy so i did this one this is a bear house. There is like, this is like a collectible, not a collectible, but there's like a collection. What is this fucking knockoff Ed you Hardy? You can do, which I think <laughs> sure. I'm low-key going to do it. I don't care. Like you could do all of these. It's called a city corner. So oh my I God, get a fucking life. I'm going to get every single one of these and do them. So, and then I'll learn a skill. Only did I do that one. I did this one, you which imbecile. is like a house here. You have a bedroom, you have your, um, 
bathrooms in there. There's like a tub. There's a little office area, Fuck entertainment off. area. The Play some way Minecraft. Back in there. Um, some stairs, like the whole nine. So Is that one was super fun. Breakfast? And then I did this one. It's just like a little office living room area. For fucking who? I really enjoy doing I these ones. I see so there's fun. some paint Last palettes. Least, did you see the paint palettes? I finished the Jurassic sure it's an office? Park one, so um, I dropped this last night. Yeah, I did. Um, oh, do you think Amberlynn knows that uh, all those Jurassic Park games are getting re-released thanks to uh, limited run games? Oh, actually, goddamn, I haven't streamed since that whole thing. You guys see, uh, thanks to limited run games, uh, fucking Gex and Tomba is is getting re-released isn't that fucking nuts after all the times after all the times that i was we were like i was coming on here to watch like fucking those e3 things and whatever and was like all right gex all right tomba let's go new tomba the fucking one that i don't watch <laughs> they're just both in there uh, but it's not a new ones it's there's re-release on them because i had it set up on this i love gex this guy right here has been so annoying um, it's a dinosaur stepping on an upside down car, and you're supposed oh, to have this like here. Oh, you like dinos? Name two. And it rolled off, and it broke, so I had to re-put that together. And then the dinosaur has also fallen, and Do I had to fix that, which Bronto? was annoying. But regardless, I love Jurassic Park, so this was a Why is all your shit falling? Experience, but putting together the dinosaur... Fucking, fucking Feline, fucking stumbling drunk, fucking up my Legos. It wasn't uh, my favorite, but... Yeah, this is crazy big. Um, I'm actually going to be selling, because as you know, I'm moving. Um, I'm going to be selling some of the Legos that I've already completed. I didn't even know that there was a place um, in the city that I live that buys used Legos. I did not know because I've been giving all my Legos away, like thousands of dollars of Legos to Goodwill. So whoever got those from Goodwill, happy for you. But I could have actually sold them. Um, I can't sell these. Of course. Of course you could sell anything instead of donating it. Of course you could. So, like off-brand Lego. <laughs> Like, you knew that. That's not news. You were aware of that. Lego, but I do have Legos that I do want to sell. Like I have a piano. Um, I have two typewriters, so I want to sell one of those. Obviously, I want to sell this Jurassic Park one. For me, it's not about like if I had like a big house, an extra room, I would keep all my Legos in there completed. Like I have done so many Legos in my lifetime, I've gotten rid of all of them. But if I had like a bigger space or whatever, obviously I would have kept them. Um, but it's not really about keeping them per se. It's just doing them. It's just doing them. It's fun. So anyways, at least she's not a hoarder, but like, it's hard to, it's hard to tell which is worse. Like, like just like hoarding the shit so that your house is fucking full of them or just be, or just having such a shopping addiction. It's just like fucking constantly passing through you. It's my therapy is in a half an hour. Goodwill's at ALR museum. Oh my fucking God. That how fucking funny would it be if someone lived nearby and would just give like video updates of the Goodwill and just seeing all of Amberlynn's shit for sale? That would be pretty good. You could then you could buy them and resell them. The official Amberlynn Jurassic Park Lego set, handmade by Amberlynn. Or no, the square plates, yeah. And uh, I'm dreading that. So yeah. Okay, so I had my therapy. It was a crying session for sure a lot a lot of crying but i really really love my therapist and they just made me see that like mine and feline's breakup was healthy mutual mature and it's what we both needed and i have Is to continue reminding myself them? of that because if i don't then it's like i just think of the amazing times with her and when i do that i'm like TikTok am i making a mistake like, are we making a mis oh the 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 bath bath bombs bath bombs so I have to continuously remind myself why I'm doing this, you know, like go back and look at journal entries and I love when she spends so much of the video Trying to convince herself of something by saying it to the camera Keep journaling, keep journaling, Amberlynn, please keep doing it Like I love Feline with every part of me, every single part of me Yeah, but but don't forget all the times that you mentioned even recently how you how you gave your body to destiny You gave destiny every part of you You say it frequently Far more frequently than someone two two relationships ago should. <laughs> yeah, I need to go. Because <clears throat> I'm like, I'm just really hurting right now. Just really fucking hurting. This shit comes in waves. And when it hits you, it me? Hurts. there's nothing that hurts It's fucking me? The sun is no joke. It's me? Our, high on 69. But we have a few errands. She fucking say high on 16. What the fuck? This shit comes in waves. What did and she when it fucking say? Delta 8? Delta 8 driving? I hit you. I did see that Big Lee deleted the fucking vlogs. I would love to know.
the fucking story behind that that we'll never get. I got to get into like the subreddit or whatever. I, I think there is. I think there's like. I think there's like a subreddit for Bigly, and I think there's like. I think there's one of those like fucked up discord servers that people have you know where it's like the discord server exists to just be like look at this fucking idiot on the internet it hurts there's nothing that hurts this bad the sun is no joke and we have our ac on kind of high on 69 but we have a few errands oh yeah the ac on 69 okay. hold on oh that's better that's better so we're actually about to uh, yeah, the government go thing, run yeah. a few errands my makeup is kind of smeary. I noticed like halfway through therapy, I had like- Oh wow, this is just like all of her other relationships after they ended and she's like, we have to do errands. Don't forget, you have to drive me everywhere. Anyway, we're going to a movie. Mascara running down right here and I didn't even notice. Yeah, that was embarrassing. My therapist didn't say anything, of course not. But first place we're gonna go to is Home Depot because we're gonna get just a couple boxes. Oh man, but what about when you're moving in with Becky and you got all those like Dollar Tree boxes and then complained that most of them were like ripped and stuff as if they were going to save them for you. Just to get things moving. You gonna put on that seatbelt? Ding, ding, ding. We just pulled out. Oh, 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 look at the fucking authority on seatbelts over here. Look at the goddamn fucking seatbelt dynasty queen over here. Look at this fucking, look at, watch out for the seatbelt patrol. Watch out, they'll get you, they're gonna write, what are you gonna write a fucking ticket? What's going on here? So, y'all. Oh, all right, Mrs. Mrs. Fucking seat, Little Miss Seatbelt. Machine in this little creek, and that's not even a creek. I don't know what that is, a puddle? What? Drainage, uh, ditch. Me and Celine were cracking up there. <laughs> so, here's Home Depot. So we're about to head in. We were listening That's to the good old Home Depot. Beautiful Lizzo. Creedence True Clearwater Hertz. Revival. All right, so here is the moving aisle. This is <laughs> the fucking moving aisle. I didn't even know they made wardrobe boxes. Yeah. Should I get them? Yeah. Right, is that what you're going to be using too? Um. Smooth. Smooth as Do you want a wardrobe box? Wow, well, how fucking annoying must it be for for Feline right now to not only have to pack up her shit to move, but also then pack up Amberlynn's shit and move all of Amberlynn's shit and put all of Amberlynn's shit in her new place. That's going to be fucking wild. Hopefully Amberlynn just hires a moving company. Actually, she should just fucking do that. Why doesn't she just, why doesn't she just fucking drop a bunch of money and have other people do it for her? <laughs> she wants to help Amber? Oh, okay. Um, going to Home Depot with no plan. Yeah, I'm just gonna put everything in the suitcase. <laughs> Always works out. That's so depressing. Wait, they have like different boxes? Let me get like a. I should probably get a tall one because I have like dresses, dresses. upon dresses. Yeah. Throw them in a fucking Three bin. Get two of those. What do you do? My expensive dresses. They have like TV boxes. Do you think we're gonna get those or do you Who think cares? that we, we could just store it? Throw uh, a blanket on it. Just store it. They should have, like put uh, a blanket over it? Yeah, they should have uh, moving blankets. Okay. Or actually we can just put those in the car. Right. I probably need like an extra <laughs> oh, yeah, one. I didn't even realize the fucking prices on these cardboard boxes. I don't know if this car- Just, I, I, yeah, at this point, fucking moving company. Holy do fuck. It. Do you want to just use this thing? We're not fucking putting these on an airplane. And like lay it? Yeah. Okay, so we have this little guy here in a ton of boxes. So I don't think we're going to have to be- coming back thank god so we're just gonna get everything now we also got some tape and underneath this is some packing paper as well i also think though for like dishes and stuff 13 dollars 13 fucking dollars for some bubble wrap come on now might get one of these 
Better to be safe than sorry. Oh my god, throw some newspaper in there. <laughs> Rip up a, a one of your fucking Amazon boxes. I'm a clumsy. Yes, I am. Why did my mic just vibrate and my phone is vibrate? I have no idea. Oh, phantom vibrate she got. We phantom, literally got phantom phone vibrate. So many boxes. We have some in the trunk, in the back seat. It is. Why? Why? When you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get fucking a hundred more boxes from shit that you're just gonna order in the next two weeks anyway in the mail. Oh, I can't even say bittersweet. It's just really sad. Um, next stop though is we're going to the Walmart because I want to get like a visual representation of how much weight I want to lose. Um, what the fuck is Walmart gonna do about that? Before I move, so I already thought about it. I weighed myself What does today. that have to do with a fucking Walmart? Okay. I was shocked. I only gained a couple pounds. Like, my body's weird. Like, I could be on track and gain the same amount of weight I gained after this last week of just eating all the junk. I don't get it. But, yeah. So we're gonna <laughs> so go to we doing a fucking endurance test at Walmart? <laughs> is, is fucking Feline going to be following behind in the scooter Walmart. as a spotter? I Walmart in forever. I'm usually a Target girly, but... I figured let's just go to Walmart today. So I've actually never been to this Walmart before, so I'm a little lost. It's fucking right Walmart. Right now I'm in the PJs. This is super cute. Um, you're I lost. Up the jewelry. Are you lost? And it's the you're same lost? jewelry that they've had since you're five lost. years ago. So I'm good. Yep, I am in the journal aisle. <laughs> what is this? And Celine picked this up. What the fuck is <laughs> That's this? That's weird. Is this the visual representation? It's kind of creepy, ain't it? I don't like it. Really? Look at it. It's, I don't know, it's weird. That's the only thing we have in the cart. Flink got a shirt. I was looking at the planners. Made of bandanas. I don't need one. Leticia, did I get that right? Thanks for follow up, Warren. How you doing? I was looking at the journals. I don't need one. But I'll still look. I'll still look. You have a problem. I have to go to the arts and crafts section for what I'm really looking for. Get a for. fucking life. <gasps> Oh, these are cute. I might get these pastel Le pens. Pen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Le Wait, pen. give me that furry journal right, right behind you. Look at it. Oh my God. Get help. You know. Get fucking help. Because I'm freaking 10 years old. Oh, but oh, but you didn't like the one that Feline no, showed you. That. Okay. So I am in I'm the doing well, thank art you. aisle. And I had a few ideas. Like putting balls in a cup <laughs> then i thought of maybe for moving <laughs> adhesive is this the visual oh my fucking god is she gonna like fucking pull a jelly bean out of a jar for every pound lost or something oh my god what's the thing what's the thing called the little the little calculator that's just beads on a on a on a line what's that thing called <laughs> an abacus <laughs> Oh my god, come on. On paper, but I think my final decision life. is I'm oh gonna get some god. of these craft sticks. You guys will see what I mean. So I did get some journals. Because I've been journaling a lot. Fuck off with the journals! So I got those two. Oh my god. I'm gonna get god. this guy. I got some Sharpies. You have a problem. And I'm getting three packs of these. What happened to what happened to fucking I don't have enough money to move? colorful pens and i think that's it goodwill so we've been home for a couple of hours <laughs> my hair is seen better days yeah, that's um, but i put some like Le pen what do you call them gyozas <laughs> i'm not good at pronouncing that word sorry Don't choke on them pot stickers dumplings whatever you want to call them and the air fryer and they got so crispy on the outside and um, it's just like a Thai mm. vegetable mm. type. And on mm. top, of actually, I'm gonna heat up some oil, some vegetable oil, in a cast iron pan, and throw them uh, onto there, and not move them for a good couple of minutes, and then uh, toss in a small amount of water, and immediately throw a lid on it so they can steam the rest of the way. A little, little bit of soy sauce and a little That's bit. That's actually of how I'm gonna make those. So. I'm not throwing That's those in I'm the air fryer. The guises. <laughs> oh my god. 
You have to try one. Everything mm. you wanted and more. Everything I wanted and more. I think I'm exiting my cast iron era. I want to move into my stainless steel era. I That's actually happened to me because my mom gave me that stainless steel. I got this emerald stainless steel pan I've been using for everything. Start using getting, that. Era. I'm getting the hang of it. If you like, like if, so, like, yeah, I'm like heating up the butter with the pan and letting it get real hot and whatever, and then throwing stuff in. After that, it's pretty good at not sticking. If I put in something pretty wet, then that ends up kind of like burning at the bottom a little bit but like if you deglaze it quick enough it's fine i know it's sitting in your pantry in your closet my air fryer in a cabinet somewhere broke get it out and use it i'm actually just gonna cook those the correct way oh yeah (laughs) that's perfect texture i've used the air fryer twice today Mm. I used it earlier to do a chicken sausage because I have my like I'm gonna I'm gonna veggie cottage cheese. I'm gonna crisp them on one side and then steam it like I'm supposed to. Nonstick girly for life. You mean you're a nonstick girly every fucking year and a half until it just starts sucking? You have to buy another one. (laughs) Am I right? (laughs) Move on. Is that funny? I'm joking. Is that a funny joke? All right, you guys. So we haven't done PO box in a little bit, so let's do it. If you Hopefully, guys want someone send sends anything, you some fucking cash, right? Here is my PO box. I'm gonna keep it until I move. So if you do send me anything, Apple. please do not send me any food. She's gonna have to give like a time limit on this. If All right, she's let's gonna get into it. So just bail Cody on it. Written this super cute card, and also I guess this is um, an author from like. Real Housewives. I've actually never seen the show, but he went and got it signed. So it says to Amberlynn from Cody, lots of love. And then what a fucking sicko. Alloway is her name. Signed it. So that is really cool. Thank you so much, Cody. And I recognize you because you have sent me letters and cards in the past, and I just appreciate you so much. So the next Get thing is I got room. this shirt, and there was no letter. Oh, Cody, you love Amberlynn so much. Why don't you marry her or anything? It says y'all means all literally <laughs> how fucking funny would it be to just like forge a signature for something and send it to amberlynn signed by miley Cyrus? i thought this was so cute so to whoever sent this fucking thing, a texas shirt a a, a so pride much. texas shirt? it's just super meaningful and it means a lot to me so what does it mean next thing i got was this really long letter from michelle thank you so much for opening up to me whenever i read a letter i don't share anything personal but just know that i read every single one so thank you guys for taking the time to write me letters and michelle sent me tons of stickers like don't give up do something today that your future self will thank you oh that's what she fucking needs michelle thanks so much or don't trip over something that is behind you and <laughs> all right it why they pick that one why specifically that one so many more so thank you so much michelle so next i got this really long letter from katie i hope i'm pronouncing her name right and she sent me a ton of earrings and in the letter she gave me an explanation for each one so i thought that was super cute so the first pair is rubik cubes whose cube earrings that's amazing like whose cube is this ma'am these are like some mickey keys so cute some oreo uh, ben and earrings. jerry that's adorable a lego necklace you know i love legos and it's in the shape of a heart that's so cute some really pretty pink earrings and then she also sent me a mm-hmm. shell from ireland that is so sweet thank you so much katie honestly all right you guys okay. so it's getting pretty late and my camera is on the verge of dying so i have to put a new battery in there charge this one blah 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 but i hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and i'll see you in my next one bye it's in your shell from north korea nice nice good good fucking shitting is she shitting in this one you guys listen to imposter new mix check it out check it out you guys listen to lee hoyland cover of you're beautiful check it out check it out i don't fucking watch any more of these way in weight loss visual representation i'm so not ready for that still ordering takeout and a grieving heart hello hello um welcome to a new vlog i've been awake for some hours how many hours Ugh, i haven't ate I'm still anything ordering yet. takeout um yeah i just oh didn't that splat start today um i got some panera Team bread vanilla 
their um, turkey deli sandwich. Panera so good. bread. And obviously, it's so simple. It's definitely something I can make at home. Ooh. The ingredients are What's today, Friday. Should I make bread tomorrow? Early. I really don't need it. Yeah. I really don't need it. A piece of bread, mustard, well, two breads, obviously. Um, mustard, bread? turkey, lettuce, and onion. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. And it comes with tomato, but I always get it taken off. Um, I don't do raw tomato. So it's not like I ordered anything crazy or bad, but it's just like, I don't know. I'm just in that rhythm of like constantly ordering takeout and I need to like stop. Ugh. Like you got to sell your Lego, but you got Panera on, like, bread really money. Takeout. So like, I'm, I guess I'm glad that the last like two days has been like healthier takeout. I mean, chai tea isn't the healthiest thing in the world, but depends and also it has caffeine in totally it totally so depends my sleep tonight isn't gonna be the greatest um <laughs> is it fucking ever is it ever like, i don't know like i love vlogging but i was kind of like oh. procrastinating starting it um i don't really know what that's about oh <sighs> i look around my living room and there's just like boxes everywhere i love that for me um so yeah the next like few months is just gonna be like very slow process of well, like put the boxes packing, there selling goodwilling what? just getting rid of stuff and all that um i do have one storage i recently got a storage because yeah, over i have a, a fucking, lot of christmas yeah. stuff and i have two christmas the, trees there's because black we tea in a in room and shy, in right? um and i had nowhere to put that stuff i also have some like halloween stuff so we had to get a storage halloween. and i think we got it just like a few months ago honestly because i was just so tired of like because we have like a hallway closet and i was tired of it just being like super jam-packed with like i have a solution it's gonna fucking blow your mind we had to get a storage because like i'm so sick of like everything just being so full of things all my christmas listen stuff. so listen um yeah There's it's actually solution. attached to the apartment complex which is pretty cool so it's just like a little storage moment so i'll definitely show you guys that i know like some people have asked like how many storages do you really have i just have one and it's mainly just like christmas stuff christmas decor um halloween stuff i have because you know i like question journal books so i have some of that close um, the fucking some, like, storage past, unit like laptops that don't work anymore phones from like literally i was a teenager i still have all my phones i've ever had oh um, okay get like rid that. of them Nothing, like super crazy so i think we're gonna start bringing all that stuff back into the apartment so i can go through it because we a lot who of the it, fuck I is think, we i don't i don't think i'll be keeping so yeah i'll definitely show you guys that when we go to the storage um but yeah it's just gonna be the next few months it's just gonna be a lot of that and i can't imagine amberlynn carrying a storage bin i don't know I'm this sorry. whole thing like hasn't really hit me yet i feel I like can't. it's really gonna hit me once i'm like in my new place and Feline says her her goodbyes you know that's when it's really gonna hit me bad and yeah anyways i literally look like i'm in jail hi <laughs> bail me it's out where you please. belong bail me lock out. her up okay so i lock wanted to show you guys something up. i know this is a weird spot <laughs> but you know what that's okay listen to my voice so i weighed myself yesterday and last time you guys heard my weight, it was like a 521 or 522. I weighed it at 524. You know, the, the, I, I'm enjoying the convenience of the little sippy sip, but uh, I don't know. There's something something better about tipping it, I feel like. I don't know. I got all these different things to try out in jail for January 6th. Yeah, where were you on January 6th? Or at point six, so I've only gained a couple pounds in the last few weeks. July so 10th. So I took my five couple pounds in the last Hold few on. weeks. 524.6 so i took my 524 got the same gulp gulp with sipping yeah that's true yeah i usually i really just like pour the water into my mouth usually. Point six, and i thought of like how much do i want to lose before i move i want to try my hardest what to the fuck is a walla? lose 50 sucking a dick five pounds no, it was 56. Is that a fucking so onomatopoeia? I want to lose pounds before I move. Um, I just want the drive to be easier. So I wanted to like create a visual representation. So I have these popsicle sticks. Okay. So each one, I put a number. So there is 56 in here. And what I'm going to do is every time I do a weigh-in, say I lose three pounds, I'm going to take three of these and put them in here. What are the numbers say it's one for? Pound. I'm going to take one of these. Why are there and numbers? And pretty soon, this cup is going to lose the popsicle sticks while this one is going to be 
Do you have any spare popsicles lying around just in case there's a little, just for a little wiggle room? Gaining. Hear me out. Hear me out. What if it goes in the wrong direction? Six. So. POV, you're a POW. <laughs> Your torture is Halar explaining the popsicles. Yeah, through the cell. Through the cell. <laughs> the reason why I numbered them. Let me show you an example. Oh, look. I lost a pound. I just picked up the number 52. And then I'm going to put it in the other glass. So what I'm going to do is I went on to Instagram. And I had you guys ask me tons me? of weight related questions and i got recipe for of daddy's pasta recipe for so daddy's thank you guys pasta so much so since i picked up the number 52 pop popsicle stick i numbered these so i'm going to go to the number 52 question and i'm going to answer it i don't know i'm a creative girly i love no. doing stuff like this i no. wanted like a visual representation i also wanted to like talk more I don't, about I don't, I don't believe that amberlynn actually has a right side of her <laughs> Kinsey, did I get that right? Thanks for following. Welcome in. How you Eight. doing? And I don't know. I just thought it would be a fun little segment to add to my videos. So, yeah. So, I think for now, I'm just going to leave them right here. Oh, and perfect. This guy, like this. This guy likes to fall. I will say that. Let's have him like, like that right there. So, then, whenever I do weigh in, we'll come over here. We'll do it. And then all of these questions there's so many oh my i will answer them y'all i am obsessed Get a life. with this damn air fryer it's the drew berry more the beautiful one. Oh god. i'm actually about to use it right now who are you trying to convince me or you um i'm gonna do a little taste test i love the air fryer have. guys you're the last fucking person in the world to get into the air fryer. Some of these guys. This isn't Mini chicken news tacos. To anyone. Calories for four of them is 260. At least she's finally discovering the Maillard reaction. The reason you why gotta I give her that. That's worth something. I got so many pre packaged foods from um, the good old Trigger Joe's. Is because uh, I just I'm, I'm grieving a little bit, and I know. <laughs> Feline, I'm grieving. Can't you see? You have to bring me to Trader Joe's so I can get mini tacos. I'm grieving. A lot of people are like, well, it don't seem like it because you're still vlogging. Like <laughs> what? Like people thought I was gonna take time off and stuff, and that's so the Maillard reaction uh, is just. The reaction of food browning when it, you know, gets up to temperature, which she never experiences because she cooks shit in water, which means that her food never gets above 212 degrees. It's like, sure. I'm also going to make some for Felina. Yeah, Y'all, I'm talking to a girl. How do I know if she's flirting? I'm really bad Thanks at this. I'm going to try them. Right. And I'm going to have more than four. Good luck. Good lie. luck. Four is 260. Ask, uh... I'll probably have like um, six. So I'm lucky that like I can ask take time off if I wanted to, but it's Many like tacos will fill the void. I I don't want to just to feel something. Filming is a good distraction for me, <laughs> honestly. It's like I don't want to do anything really. Um, so the fact that I am filming like says a lot. And it's like one thing or a very big thing that I completely stopped doing is cooking for myself. And it's like, I have to be realistic with myself. I know I'm not going to sit here and make some chicken freaking breast and be all healthy. Like, it's just not happening. Oh. Like, I still am doing, like, oh, my is it? Is it not? raw veggies and stuff. Okay. But I'm just being realistic. All right. Uh, okay. So we have them in here. Um, air fry, 400 time. I yeah, guess she I'll really might as well have just gotten Chipotle at this point. Do it for... 20 minutes and see what's up. And then literally you just press start. It's like the easiest thing ever. And I guess to continue the discussion of like taking time off when you have a broken heart. I have taken time off hey, for funny peach. being sick, like in the past with cellulitis. All right, hold on, hold on. Did you run this by HR? Something really tragic, you know, happening to my family and stuff. And what are the bereavement days? Do we get, does she get bereavement days? And I usually get the same reaction of like, well, if you had a real Survey job, says, you wouldn't be able to do that. 
you wouldn't be able to take off work so it's like I don't know it just seems like there's no happy medium with people and that like no matter what I do it's always like the wrong me desperately trying to justify not doing any videos one day this week because i was just playing death stranding thing i've just had so many Guys, people reach out to me and you just say like, like need a they day. love how vulnerable i'm being and there's so many of you also going through breakups and it just like breaks my heart i know every situation is different and I, I i feel like i say this a lot but like i would respect amberlynn so much more if she was just like i didn't feel like doing anything it feels like not just like guys i really actually need a day off like for grieving like nothing changed for you guys i'm sure but it's a completely different dynamic between me and feline off camera like think of all the ways you are with a friend like in a friendship now think of all the ways you are with someone that you're absolutely and utterly in love with and in a relationship with those two relationships <laughs> are not the same. And if you're treating your friends like how you're treating your partner, we have some discussions to do. You uh, you should not you should not be an authority on this. You need you 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 are saying this to yourself in complete desperation. You're not telling me this. You're telling yourself this to a camera. So, yeah, to you guys it doesn't seem like a big difference, but once I turn this camera off, my whole life has changed and it's only going to get more prominent when I move. And that's probably when you're going to see me break down like a lot. I don't know. I don't feel like pulling, pulling out the, the fucking metal core sounds. Can't tell the future, but that's how I feel in my heart. That once we're living in two different states, that's, that's when it's going to like move, hit me like a Mack truck. <laughs> Like a hurricane, like a tsunami, like a cyclone, like a damn E5 tornado. And I'm dreading that, like, wholeheartedly. A tsunami? All right, so it's been going for about 18 minutes. It might have been too long, folks. Looks like <laughs> Let shit. Let me try. I was distracted. So I might have cooked them for too long. See, this air fryer works so good. Like, I'm, I'm so used to having air fryers that, like... Fuck off. 18 minutes, they'd still be half freaking frozen so shut the fuck up shut up okay so they cooled shut down a bit the fuck up about i definitely the think i overcooked them we all know how it fucking works i mean They're you do good. like it dry she likes it dry but i did overcook them sadly but good fucking god <laughs> The inside still soft. I'd still eat them. I'd still eat them. This em. would be good with some salsa, but I don't think I have any. It'd be good with salsa and sour cream, TBH. How, what about cottage cheese and mustard? I don't have either of those things. Ooh, I want to do a taste test of these. So. Oh my the, God, Jamie just bought these. She's obsessed with them. The TikToker that I watch who does like the mustard and cottage cheese, she also likes pickled okra. Can someone tell me they notice how she eats with only her front teeth so I don't feel like I'm crazy? Well, those are the chopping teeth if you cuz she was eating a crunchy thing. Let me go back and review. Them. Sadly. You got your choppers and you got your grinders. But, the inside still soft. This would uh, towards the end there, towards the end there she had them back there, I think. But I took a little longer than usual, I feel like. The inside still soft. This would be good with some no, salsa. No, you're right. You're right. I don't think I have to an extent. Have any. I don't think she's like a. F I don't think she like doesn't use the back. You go with salsa and sour cream, TBH. But I don't have either of those things. I made a whole collage and breakdown of her teeth. She was missing quite a few, and a lot have holes in them. Do you think you'd be able to identify her from a from dental? <laughs> Ooh, I want to do a taste test you of these. Be able to identify so her body. The TikToker that I watch who does like the mustard and cottage cheese, she also likes pickled okra. <laughs> so I said, you know what? Nothing wrong some. with missing a couple teeth. She just makes everything look so good, but I don't know. Hey, Millie, how you doing? Let's try it. How's Scotland? Smells pickled. Okra? Mmm. That's not bad. What is she it? She hates okra, it. Though? She hates it. I like it. Oh my god, do you ever uh, get vegetable tempura and it's got some okra in it? Pretty good. I gotta pee. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, isn't that funny? Oh, isn't that funny? This, the coldest water bottle box that I got yesterday.
Tucker. You know anything about this? You like biting things. I like anything pickled for the most part. Like, do you guys remember when I was obsessed with these? The pickled baby corn? No. <laughs> and now, now they're just sitting there, huh? What's the deal with that? What is the science behind that? When you bang a jar, it decides to open. So I also got some of this. Probably fucking loosens. Mm-hmm. A flop. I also tried these garlic and jalapeno stuffed olives. Oh. As you guys can tell, I'm kind of hungry. These are good. No one wants to eat several cloves of ol of 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 mm -hmm. garlic until they stuff them in some olives. Then it's then only There's twenty of them. As I'm standing here in my kitchen, it just Chewing makes me realize how much I have to clean it. I feel like this closet clean out has a whole other meaning now. Oh, <sighs> wow. Not really. Nice exposed pipe you got Moments back there. Moments like this, I feel like I'm gonna have a breakdown. I actually will be keeping. But then I have to immediately snap myself out of it. I, are you having a breakdown because you just have so much shit that you have to do? Because you have acquired so much crap? It's like, I don't know if I wanna Wait, do I have to... But then I realize I have I to. have to lift okay, things and move them to a different room. So this is one of my newer dresses. I have this dress in black, so I already know I'm going to love this. I haven't worn it yet, I so I'm going to keep it. I will be keeping So as you guys know, I have a love-hate relationship with floral. But this dress, I like the colors of it, so I'm going to keep it. So I've had some people ask if I was going to sell my clothes. I'm not. There are some things I want to sell. I actually will be keeping all of them. Well, um, like my standing desk. I'm not gonna need that. The only reason why I got it was because So that you could crawl under it and sit on your little couch to do your mukbangs. Pauline and I actually got matching ones so we can work in the office at the same time. But more than That has never fucking happened. Likely I'm not gonna have an office area. You got it so that you can squeeze underneath it and have it lower down to you like a fucking high chair. In my new place, so I'm gonna be selling things like that. And people were asking if I was planning on selling things because Hold I need you money to move. No, I have money to move. I just think sometimes selling things is a better idea than just always, here you go, here you go, Goodwill. Take everything I own. What are you gonna so do, Sakura? So I'm Socorro? just gonna sell some stuff, but it's not because I need the money. I instantly don't wanna do this anymore. So <laughs> I'm not going to. I just don't want to. It was Wasabi in here. He loves this closet, so he's not though. I'm so sorry today's vlog has been kind of like a flop. <laughs> I've just been it's feeling It's been pretty really average actually compared to what you usually got going on. I just hate this so much. <laughs> like Yeah, it's, yeah, it sucks having the to move. The spot where Fleen and I would slow dance together is in this room. This is the office. <laughs> we dance. And she and would just be you know, that empty hardwood floor. And she would take, you know, a two minute break and we would slow dance. Come on. I hate, I hate when I gotta when I gotta just, just actually do something. Um uh, what's the fucking what's the song? What's the song? I just hate this so much. Like, a spot where Fleen and I would slow dance together. And I just hate, like, secrets and just everything I am as a person. And we dance. It just, I don't know, it just hurts really bad. I just feel like, how am I going to get through this? This breakup just feels so much different than any Try other out one. my portable bidet. Because, like, you know, in I the love, past, I love like, a bidet that you can take on the go. Walk in the in my park. past relationships before the breakup actually happened, like. Oh, what is this? And we oh yeah, this is, this is how I found out about this song. You know, I just felt like friends with them or whatever, but I've never felt that way with Feline. We've always had, you know, a romantic, loving relationship. You fuck you, Becky. Fuck you, Becky. Obviously, not everything was perfect. <laughs> But it's just like... Amberlynn's like, when have I ever mentioned Becky? When I have never... I want her... I want the best for her. I have never brought her up. I have never... Always had, you know, a romantic, loving relationship. In the office. All right. Obviously not everything was perfect. Leave, leave room for Jesus. <laughs> it's just like... Leave this is one of those things Jesus. where it's like, it wasn't over before it was over. And thankfully I have my other a therapy appointment already scheduled, so... 
that's good while i'm here though i do want to open a couple p.o box so if you guys want to send me anything here's my p.o box but please do not send me any food so first thing is this amazon package no food Ooh, we have some earrings and the note says from mg it's the sun and the moon earrings thank you so much we have another amazon package How are those tarot cards so doing? this gift is from kevin it's a daily two card tarot journal oh my god i yeah, love this idea unboxing after the crying is where you funny. just pick two cards and you put what they were and then like what it says and like your notes about it and like the date and stuff i don't know i about love that. this thank you so much kevin wow kevin this package is Hi, the best kevin. smelling thing i think i've ever smelled in my life what ew ew whoa so these are handmade Sicko. organic soap bars from somebody named becky oh, <laughs> oh my god i thought you weren't gonna mention becky Becky fucking poisoned the soap. Truly, this is the best smelling thing I've ever smelled. Soap's just full of fucking rat poison. In my actual life. What? Oh my god. So this one is called Summer Love. Oh, what? Becky was Becky. shipping in the background. She shipped it. Yeah, these smell so good. Stencil in, so true. Wow. Fight Club, this classic. This is so cute. Oh my god, and you have like a whole business. BB by Bex. And then another one. Oh, this one's called Stargaze. Norma's Crafty Creations. Oh, Becky. Hands down. Best thing I've ever smelled. That's interesting. If I do this. This one's called Stargaze. If I just do this. Oh, Becky. Hands down, best thing I've ever smelled. And I'm 32 years old. I've smelled a lot of things in my life. <laughs> come on, it Holy gets crap. better. Oh my God, come on. I could literally just, for the rest of my life. Stench <laughs> Thank you so much, Becky. Okay, you guys, so I am going to end this vlog. Oh, I hope that you enjoyed. God. Some of these Becky? are going to be Debbie Downers because I'm just having a hard time. I try my hardest to come on here, put on a mask, put on a smile, but sometimes... You know, I gotta be real, gotta be myself, and I'm hurting. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. We got two more. And we dance, and down that empty hardwood floor. Ah, <sighs> girl, your whole life is a damn mask. Death Stranding, Death Stranding. Uh, drama regarding my breakup, retail therapy, sounds healthy, and haul, sounds healthy, new purses, decor, etc. New purses, decor, etc. I thought you didn't have enough money to move. Are the purses going to be carrying all of your belongings to the next place? <laughs> decor? You have a storage unit really? that you have to empty. <laughs> Full of decor. Thanks for the bits, Freckled Unicorn. How you doing? Drama? Hey guys, Amber's so life welcome is to death a new- stranding. <laughs> Yeah, and she's fucking Amelie. Am I right? Vlog. So I already had my crying session for the day. I am feeling a wee bit better. A cloud just went over the sun because the lighting completely changed outside. I, uh, last night was super hard after I ended my vlog. I just did a lot of crying. I just did a lot of crying yesterday. I don't know why, but like instead of it getting better, I just feel like it's getting worse. Like I'm feeling worse every single day. Um, where I feel like usually time heals all wounds, but for some reason that's just like not happening with me. Um, I just took okay. half of a Delta eight. gummy. Oh so my God. Let's a fucking Delta moment. go. Um, I'm not doing. Yes. Her fucking Delta eight binging arc. I am so fucking ready for it. I am so ready for it because it's so harmless. <laughs> I am ready for her to fucking OD on Delta 8. Just get fucking lost. 8, I'm doing 9, which enhances the euphoric feeling, if you will. Um, According so to fucking who? According to goddamn motherfucking who? Get me for another hour. Um, it does give me the munchies a little bit. At least the 9 might not be so lab but made, but I don't I know. am absolutely craving just like a plate full of raw veggies so with some cottage cheese and mustard so that's what i'm gonna turn to when that happens <laughs> i'm just like grieving i'm grieving <sighs> and it's only gonna be you know I, I say that in every vlog that it's just gonna get harder once i actually we move dance. um yeah, this is just me documenting my life like i've always done and sorry, 10. I, i'm pretty like, sure that's like actually a thing a little right? hair just like tickling me 
I gotta go. I gotta go back to the place and get. I kind of liked the one to one ratio of THC CBD, but then there's other times I really don't like CBD because it's just not the type of thing that I usually need. But like, I can't find it or grab it. So, yeah, this is just you know me documenting my life as I've always done in my grieving process and. <sighs> Yeah, it's just hard. Like, I know you guys didn't know Feline on a personal level, but you guys know me. And she probably I've can't get just like cannabis in uh, Kentucky, right? It'd always be like hemp derived. YouTube That's for a decade. I don't know how long you have been watching me, like whoever is watching now. But this is my life and it's what i'm going through it's my life. and that's why i am talking a lot about it because this is like really taking over when is we a lot you can you can just order the shit that she's getting uh, on the internet it's federally legal except for a few key states emotions my life just the dynamic of everything so just remember that like i know you don't know feline kansas you probably you know can me. too and this is something that's important in my life that's happening right Delta now. Delta so. 7, I Anyways, never Anyways, let's that. move on from that. I think actually in a little bit, we're actually going to go to Marshall's. Uh, Feline invited me. She needs to go uh, just to get some stuff. Um, just do so spice. Like, hey, I, hear that's, I'm like, sure. I hear that's good stuff. No, I, I hear that's bad. Just kidding. Stare at the four walls. Well, multiple walls. But I've been sitting here. I've been doing a lot of sitting here because this is where I've been doing my Lego and stuff. And my Legos... Yep, anyways, I'm rambling. I don't know. Um, bye. Do y'all ever just... Shit. Toxic gossip train. <laughs> was, there, was there another potato incident? Where's the, um, where's the sound alerts? Come on, let me, let me hear it. Let me hear it. There you go. <laughs> Toxic gossip train. Um, Come on. Bye. Do y'all ever just... Where is it? There we go. Toxic gossip train. Shut Toxic the hell up, gossip bitch. train. Toxic gossip train. Toxic gossip train. All right, all right. Toxic gossip train. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Toxic gossip train. That was too much. Toxic oh, I'm fucking it up now. Train. That was too much of that shit. That shit is concentrated. Just... You wasteful buffoon. Toxic gossip train. Talk about me. Wish people would just keep my name out of their train. mouth. Toxic gossip train. That's too much dish soap. That's too much. Toxic gossip train. Oh, the apology video I never watched? Ah, uh, okay. Toxic gossip train. Toxic gossip train. Mm -hmm. Toxic gossip train. You're done. Out of the pocket of my shirt. And then she took me by the hand. And we danced. Oh, and we danced. Well, I can Okay, so we're at Marshall's, and I have a little trick. If you guys have a purse and you get worried about like people stealing your purse, <laughs> at the Marshall's, buckle it into this guy. This little buckle, buckle your strap here. So if someone tries to take it, they're stuck for good why would no one would take your whole fucking purse they're just gonna take your fucking wallet out of but it. but i am in the purse aisle hello hello <laughs> um a fucking purse napper a goddamn purse napper in broad daylight what she came here for so i figured i would uh look around as well I thought this bag was super cute. Stop him! Stop that man! <laughs> it's so adorable. Purse. Love. I actually am obsessed with this. This is adorable. Don't throw but any I don't have stones. Any outfits that would really go with that. So I'm probably not getting it. And they have a pink one, but pink goes Barbie. with black. So I might actually get this. Barbie. The fragrance aisle has absolutely been picked over so hard. Stench Lynn. This is a cute Still ball. Still find something to touch, though. Cool. 
stole her purse with 1500 cash, social security card, and license. Oh, yeah. They, All that you shit. You should have so much more, but there's like barely it's anything. It's my purse. Oop. I Give found the macarons. Oh, we my have a God. pistachio, a champagne, a strawberry, salted caramel. Get the fuck out of here with the champagne and a vanilla. flavor. So I was looking at the journals and agendas, and I was like, oh, that's cute and small and to the point. It's literally upside down. <laughs> what Flip in the it world? Over. Okay. Won't be getting that. That's why it's a Marshall. I, I miss you. I love you. Oh, I, not enough to I not take a shower before oh, taking her to the emergency you. vet, though. Yeah. I love. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. My favorite part is when Twinkie licks the roof of Amberlynn's mouth. <laughs> You're so special. Oh, so special. Yeah. Every time I come home from going somewhere, she has the zoomies hardcore. So, sorry, I have a little boo-boo, so. The fuck? My God, uh, this from Twinkie. What on earth? She literally just got her claws cut, so they're like super sensitive. If you know, you know, you have an animal, you know, like, that fresh cut, because they're not like dulled out, they're like sharp. I know. Yeah, I cut my nails sometimes. Notice that like when I bite my nails, the same thing happens. But yeah, I have a band-aid right here because I have a little boo-boo. Bite so, your nails. Retail therapy. And fucking icy therapy, apparently. She isn't mean sensitive, she means sharp, but she's just a fucking buffoon, so. First cut, the I deepest. got a freaking slushy therapy. Fleen's calling me. Hello. Pasties. Who else calls each other when you're in a completely different room from one another? Okay, so um, I did retail therapy. How's your therapist doing? Slushy therapy. This is the one from McDonald's. It's like a blue raspberry moment. It's addictive. I'm so. I was just craving well, something super sugar. cold that tasted good. So that hit the spot. Uh, mm, something always cold gets the that red tastes one. good. So yeah, I will show you guys a little haul. I've been bouncing around with my hair, so it's like all loose. So, bouncing I'll around. Fix that. <laughs> you see my Marshall bags back there, actually. So, I'm just wrapping her. Instead of doing like a messy bun, I just fuck take her up. and go like this. Fuck up. And since she she was washed yesterday morning, so she has a little bit more like floof. When my hair is more dirty, when it's like day three of dirty, um, I don't have as much like floof. It's more like tight and I don't look as good, but. Because it's my hair full looks of so grease. Much better. Like day two of. Like, hi, I haven't washed her. For me, I feel like the best texture, the best volume. Okay, let's do my Marshalls haul. So first Just things first greasy. is I got this four lip balm set. So it's lip balm. We have vanilla, mint, lilac, and rose. And I thought you don't the packaging need was these. super adorable. Like, there's swans. How cute. So random oh fact God. about me, I am a Steve Madden groupie stan lover i love steve madden like purses duffel bags um Rebecca so Minkoff? i got two <laughs> be lucky it's only two i had a few more in my cart oh my even God, a course. duffel bag um what is it i don't understand she she has a fucking storage unit that she has to empty and she's moving she's bought a bunch of boxes she is crying because she's so overwhelmed and you're just getting more shit that you have to move that is kind of ridiculous two bags i didn't even think about that two purses they are literally the same but one is black and one is like this army green color i'm obsessed <laughs> like literally obsessed and they were both massively on sale I couldn't decide which one to get. That's why I was asking if she got kicked in the head by a mule. Like, I'm so serious. Her head isn't right. I Just spending her surgery money. Oh, yeah, that's definitely possible, right? I know I'm going to put really good use in both of them. So I got both. So I got this really cute vase. What the fuck's a vase? And, like, fake plant moment. I saw this online months ago. And I was like, I need it, I need it, I need it. I kept stopping myself from getting it. And the fact that I was able to see it in the store, I yeah, said... Yeah, I like my vases fucking gaping. This is for me. That's it's how like I like. It's, like, perfect with my decor. So, I'm happy I got it. There was another one. I almost got another one. But I was like, you know what, girl? Just What's get one. You're fine. Which is one. So, I have tons of pots and pans. Like, a whole set Coatsy of Rachel vase. Ray ones. But I have had them for about eight years seven years um the non-stick isn't working 
they're scratched up and i realized that this brand dnw dean and white is such an incredible brand so i got a new one because i'm trying to do Says out the old in with the new when it comes to cooking stuff i feel like it's super important especially okay. when your pans start to okay, like they don't get a pan that will literally last you the rest of your life and uh, several others scratch Just... you don't want to be eating that stuff so i've been journaling a lot journaling my feelings <laughs> okay so i got this really cute journal yep. i love yep. the pastel colored like the checkered is so cute why a fucking pan when she's moving another pan to move that's such an obnoxious thing to have to move. But there's like this squishy thing right here. And I love me a squishy thing because I'm super fidgety and I always need to be doing something with my hands. So I don't know, I just love this. Like it put a smile on my face. And then last but not least, I got this really adorable planner. Like the planner is straight. And like if she's going to be so fucking reckless, she should have. This is going to sound so stupid, but it literally makes more sense than what she's doing. She should just fucking order all this shit on Amazon and have it sent to her new fucking place instead of just filling up the place that you're moving out of with this new shit. Straight to the point. It was pretty cheap. Uh, in my opinion, so. You don't have to move anything if you just buy everything brand new and have it shipped to your new apartment. Love it, and I got that, and that's it. So I wanna give you guys an update on my wannabe Lego. Is this your new fucking small business? You build Legos and sell them? That this is another one that I have completed and a piece just fell off, but that's okay. So this one is supposed to be like a sushi market type thing. Um, it looks it, like a noodle joint. It does open and close, which is super cute, but I wanted to show you guys the inside as well. <laughs> I just loved this one so much. This one's like a miniature. What state she moving to? She won't tell us. It's like a nice big uh, cliffhanger to keep you watching our videos. Compared to like what I'm used to, but it was still a Bunny lot of fun. Honey Tango Canteen, then, yes. Oh my God, yes. Oh man. I also did another room. Which I really enjoy. Oklahoma? Why would you move to Oklahoma? I think California. Enjoy doing the rooms. They're super, super fun. And the brand, like, just has so many different rooms. So I Fucking eventually want to be able to complete them all. And I think that um, what I'm going to do with my, like, wannabe Legos, because <laughs> my actual Lego brand I am going to sell. Uh, the ones that I have completed. Imagine she goes East Coast. That would be fucking wild. Amberlynn can't do the Northeast. She won't last. But when it comes to like Here, these... She can't... She won't be able to do it. She won't be able to do it because I'm going to be fucking stuck behind her walking out of Walmart and be like, fucking move! Move! Once, I think I'm just going to give to a kid who really wants them. So maybe I'm going to put it on Marketplace or something like that because I just have so many that i have completed that i'm not going to keep so i really want to give them to someone who's going to make use of it because really i just enjoy putting them together like i love it so much i just can't express Get a life how much i love learn building to code. stuff it's so fun to me so these are all <laughs> learn how to play the piccolo the purses that i own and since I just got two new purses that I am... New Jersey turned my mom into such a mean person. She just doesn't tolerate bullshit anymore. So obsessed with. I'm going to go through these right now. And the fact that I am also moving. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm trying You're to sick. You are get Ill. rid of some stuff. You are I took off my unwell. cardigan. I'm still wearing my dress though. As you can see here. So let's go through these purses. Let's get rid of some. Let's be honest with ourselves, people. We can do it. Okay, so I'm gonna set you guys right there. Who the there. fuck is us? I forgot that I also have. Oh, learn carpentry, learn pipe fitting, learn through. welding. HVAC. <laughs> learn fucking HVAC. I'm just gonna throw all my purses on the floor. Because why not? God. And then when I do that, after I'm done, <laughs> learn a trade. Let's go through them. Welding will definitely. That, this must honestly, I know like she gets some of them like whatever, like from random places, whatever, probably like discounted some of them, but like, goddamn, if that wasn't just like over a thousand dollars of purses that she's like throwing into a different room onto the hardwood floor. All right. So that is the last of it. All right. So is there her is arm so okay? no, many purses but why do you I ask? have to go through 
And it's crazy, taking down all of that has essentially made my closet feel so much bigger and brighter. Okay, so I just went through. That's how lighting tends to work. Through every <laughs> Welding single hall? purse and wallet that I own. And these are the ones- Casper, Wyoming, yes. Yes, oh my God. I'm gonna get rid of. This circle pink one. No, actually she literally would not be able to because isn't it really high altitude? As adorable as it is, she literally would not survive. I just, I don't know if I'd ever actually use it. I mean, I have used it, but I don't know if I will again. This Nine West pink backpack. This Guess black and gray backpack. I will A yellow be wallet kidding? that I got from Target and never used. I don't remember where I got this purse, but I just feel like I'm never going to use it. I've had it for so long and I don't think I've ever Fucking used it. Maybe dollar once. Sign. This is just a green bag that I got from Target. I used it for a while, just wasn't clicking with me though, so I'm getting rid of it. And last but not least, I'm getting rid of this Betsy Johnson purse. I don't like the floral on a purse. Not my jam. Okay. Hello, hello. All right, why? Well, All right, puppy cheese. Woo, big thunder, big thunder. So I'm actually about to get ready for bed. I was checking my Instagram and someone had the audacity to say that this breakup era is dry as fuck. This isn't a Okay, where's the lie? Where is the lie? I will say it's moderately better than the past year has been. So there's that. So it's not a movie. It's not even a reality show. Right, We're nine times out of ten. Reality shows are. You alright, Destachino? Where's Tucker? Is he okay? Probably hiding under the bed or something. Scripted and fake and more dramatized than it needs to be. This is like. Where's little Tucker? Is Tucker okay, Destachino? Can you go check up on him? My real life. And I am hurting. You might come here for entertainment, but it's <laughs> it's not black and white. There's a gray area, and I am a real person with real feelings with a real heart. Li I thought this was scripted. Living real experiences. Like, I was trying to ignore it the best I could, but um, it was the day right, my dog. breakup video went live. All the reaction channels <laughs> were milking it for all that it's worth. And... What was mine? Oh, I did the live stream, right? Where's me? Where's mine? Oh yeah, this week in Amberlynn Reed. That's good. That's a good thumbnail. You see that? That's a good thumbnail. Now that's milking it right there. The pog, pog face. Dustin's brushing up against me. Dustin, this is no time. They you have to find Tucker. He's scared. Continue to do so. And people were saying like, oh, maybe now there will be some interesting content. I said that. I'm pretty sure I said that. ALR right now. Let me see. Let me see. True, true. Because, you know, the Oh, Dustin's trying to play with Holly. Drama of the breakup. And it's just like, people are literally she not looking at me as you, if Dustin. I am human. <laughs> you guys make fun of me because I have said before that I feel like I'm dehumanized, but that's like a really good example of like the reason why I feel that way. Because people are looking at it as, oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be tea, this is gonna be drama, this is gonna be entertainment. I'm sorry, what do you do on this platform? What is the purpose of of you uploading videos? Is it in is it information? Is it informative? Is it educational? I'm sorry, what are these videos? <laughs> what are they supposed to do for society? How do they benefit the world? We gotta Charlie underscore riot just subscribed. Nobody would ever confuse this for entertainment. <laughs> That's pretty funny. How's it going, Charlie Riot? Nice to see you. you. Got 16 goddamn months. Very nice. Very cool. Appreciate it. Let me see some sandwiches in the chat for Charlie Riot. Charlie, I'm thinking of uh, starting up Metal Gear Solid live streams on the gaming channel on YouTube. What do you think about that? I looked. I looked online, and the Metal Gear community seems to agree that I can skip the like MSX ones. And it's like now that it's like. You're not getting you die, that. Die IRL. Some people are upset that my content's dry, that the breakup's dry. Well, that's a pickle. It just, I'm a human. Like, imagine yourself being utterly heartbroken right. 
and people wanting you to like show some form of like dramatic entertainment while doing so while being I just want something in pain while crying behind the scenes while losing yourself like I feel like I'm losing myself a little bit like I'm oh, just really sure. struggling and then there's like rumors that the breakup's not even real whatever <laughs> like it's real you want to eat the sub emojis so bad great peanut butter sandwich from from pokemon get yourself um a baguette peanut butter banana and butter oh and i am hurting for you guys it seems like nothing's changed but my whole world has changed and it's only going to keep changing more and more but it's like damn not only are other people like damn. monetizing my damn son where'd you find this pain now i'm not like giving the right type of entertainment through my breakup like it's true i stand by it i didn't directly say that but i agree with it really listen to yourselves and then another thing i wanted to like talk about is like people are like you're not even giving details you're not getting into pacifics so it's why would true. we care it's well, first pacifics not getting into pacifics well i shouldn't have to Oh, it was a Freudian slip. She is going to California. I'm right. Fuck the haters. Thank you for late streaming, Willow. Missed it and appreciate the company. Oh, no problem. No problem. Um, there's boundaries. Willow like, a lot of boundaries. Came. Why would I want to, like, share personal details like that? Like, it almost just feels like a weird request to be like, I don't care about your breakup because you're not giving specifics. Like, ma'am, what? Like, I've already been- It's because it's so vague that, like, it's not entertaining. So vulnerable. Like, my whole YouTube career. Like, let's- Are you not profiting off of these videos for our entertainment? Be honest. Let's be real now. And it's like, you know, when I stop and think about it, I know I have so many supporters and so many people watching me who love me and have my Name best interests one. at heart and who care about me and i love fucking whoever that is, the, the person who sent that signed book and i appreciate you guys and i'm sorry that there's this weird wall that's up between me and youtube but there is a large part of this community that i do not want to open up to i don't feel safe i don't feel comfortable not at all like so is this is this her announcing her um Oh, what's the fucking site? Patreon? <laughs> so I'm starting a Patreon for all my true supporters. They can get all the juicy details of the breakup. Like people are monetizing my pain. And there's a difference because I should be allowed to monetize my pain. I should be allowed to- Oh, you, well, you've been talking too much to fucking Destiny then. <laughs> Destiny's a big fan of monetizing her pain. To monetize my story. I should be allowed to monetize any single last thing about me. But to know that there are people who are literally piggybacking off of me and my heartbreak makes me sick. Dang. And I'm not going to give it's any me. more ammo. I got bills to pay, all right? Like, no more bait. Nothing like that. That is why I'm not going into specifics. I've tried my hardest to give what I can, and it just seems like... She's just mad that she can't get a coldest water bottle sponsorship. But I, but I secured the bag. What I give is never enough. And that's just really frustrating. And Code this isn't the time in my life where I want to feel like I need to be some sort of way for YouTube. I need to show up, not have dry breakup. Fuck that shit. I, I literally don't care. <laughs> but I want to be able to speak up on things that I feel is wrong and what I feel is right. And I feel like it's really wrong to look at this era in my life and invalidate what I'm sharing, my feelings, etc. It's just... It's wrong. A large portion of this community dehumanizes me. For the people who have sent me such kind of- Why are those people accepted in the community? What community is she referring to? The people who watch Earth, you? Thank you. Like, truly, it has helped me during this time. It's a weird and rocky time. And uh, I'm doing my best over here. <laughs> but I do want to end this vlog. And I'll see you guys in my next one, okay? Bye. Nice, nice. We got one more. Is that it? Hey, guys. I'm not okay moving furniture and another way in. Hopefully we can move some of these fucking popsicle sticks. Am I right? Is welcome to a new vlog. So I'm just in the middle of doing my makeup and... Um, oh, no. Lemon lime. That's, that's too, too much for a millennial. That's like, too much. I just am not sleeping Can't so well. Can't handle it. I will say today I was able to get in a nap, which... 
You don't like the thunder? Was much needed because I really truly am not sleeping very really? well like at all. Hopefully she didn't have any bad dreams, am I right? Come here, come here, come here. Hi, do you not like the thunderstorm? You're hearing things? You sound phlegmy, can I? I won't choke you to death like I did the guy in my dream. I just want to make sure that you can... There you go. Um, I know I'm not helping by myself by sometimes having caffeine. Dancing. <laughs> Walking, rearranging today, furniture. A little bit more caffeine Hi, than usual. You're smiling. So that probably That's a bad sign, isn't it? Did not help at all. But uh, taking melatonin. How about some Delta Eights? Am I right? Does help. So I am grateful for that. Literally, I don't even know how. Lots it of water. She should get a uh, coldest water bottle and use code Willow. But my um. Oh, that is a <laughs> yeah, that is a low it's amount broke, of brain completely blue. broke. It won't even close. It's cracked. I don't know how it happened because like I don't throw my makeup bag around. Like I don't remember sitting on it or stepping on it. So I don't know what happened, but she has okay. one. No, no, the new collection so I woke is up lovely. Just a few hours ago, and I don't know. I, I think they just dropped a new like design this vlog morning. today, but I felt compelled to. Like I just am really enjoying. Um, vlogging a lot rarity over here is messing with my legos oh Baby girl, is that who's fucking that. with the lego i've just been like really enjoying a good vlog so <laughs> um i love talking to you guys and it just feels really something good. to cope i don't know a part of me feels like need some of that <laughs> bond number one grondike tactical soap there we go Maybe i should start uploading every other pheromones day just to kind of that the of age ladies get ahead love. of schedule but um i have been like yeah literally uploading daily i don't know what i'm doing um i'm gonna have some of these coconut strips they're so good like the texture okay they're a little hard because i got them like a week ago <laughs> okay i guess they're stale but <laughs> when they're not stale the texture is so freaking good okay. these taste amazing and i just have a couple a day it's lasted me this long okay so hi currently in the office um i'm gonna do a little bit of moving adventures part of the moving adventures <laughs> the fucking lego shoe um i want all of like good use out of that record player or whatever the fuck it was my completed boxes um and things that are like ready and done and packed to just be in the office so for a little bit it's gonna be like a storage oh i'm sure feline will appreciate that when she's fucking working at her job just a place for it to get out of the way ready for the movers like this is gonna be a a process the movers <laughs> oh there are movers involved <laughs> because like i'm a big procrastinator so i'm gonna do a little bit is her name feline no every single day so like when the time does come i'm just gonna feel stress-free i mean as much as i can be but, yeah, I think she's got a good couple of months, right? All of this right here is Feline's. Yeah, I'd be doing this like the day before. Um, these are all her records and stuff like that. So I actually want to start packing certain things. But Is that, is that fucking a Stevie Wonder vinyl? Oh my god. I have this. I <laughs> For sure. I have this. Hold on. One moment. It's at my mom's. Maybe it's hers, I don't know. Or no, I think my dad might have given it to me. Couldn't find it, but uh... <laughs> wow, talk a lot of shit about Stevie Wonder Amberlynn for having the this album This is like the corner I want to start huh? um, piling boxes or whatever it may be. And um, she suggested uh, that she is fine with moving this. We're just gonna move it on the other side of the office where her desk is. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug, I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna unplug the record player. I don't know how heavy some of this stuff is. How the fuck is this in the video? Ever since I was diagnosed with a um, hernia, I found out like you shouldn't like heavy lift, but I still do it anyway. Oh yeah, so was she not getting the fucking hernia surgery now? I totally forgot about that. Is she just going to live with the discomfort of the hernia? That's so fucking gross. Ew, that's so fucking gross. Ew, 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 ew. Oh God, that is gonna fucking bother me so much. Fucking ew, ew, oogie boogie. My bugs. 
My box! That is so gross. It's so gross. Ew. Ew, the hernia. She's gonna fucking live with it. Oh, this ain't bad at all. Like I'm saying, like, she was gonna get the hernia fixed with the weight loss surgery. Now is she... Oh, it's fucking grossing me out so much. Ew. Oh, God. This ain't bad at all. So I'm just gonna set it right here. To get it out of the way. Not hang out again. I know, but just the idea. The fucking idea. Oh, no. I'm gonna put her Lego on her desk. You this fucked is it up. You already fucked it up. Ultimate sneaker book I got her for uh, Christmas time. I'm sure, she hasn't fucking opened it once. So she has a lot of records. So just to make this thing, uh, I see like a, maybe a dozen tops. Lighter. I'm gonna take the records out. Okay. And I'm just gonna gently set them on the ground. Okay, but not that gently though. Okay. I actually love this thing. Um, such a good record player holder. All right, moment of truth is, how heavy is this guy? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, where did you put the records? <laughs> it's probably a two-person situation type deal. But nah, I got that. I, 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 you didn't even have to take the shit off of it. I got it. But I'm gonna do it myself. With a hernia? With a goddamn hernia? This is fucking grossing me out so bad. Ew. Ew. It's so fucking gross. Ew. Hey, drowsy bean. So I'm just gonna move it to that side of the room. <laughs> oh, Ew. I got her. Ew. I probably I fucking her, have one. I just lost my earring. Uh, I'm just gonna take them out. Uh, now I got her record player. And now I'm gonna pick up her records and put them back. Ooh, it's okay. we blurry. It's okay, we it's, blurry, okay. it's okay, it's okay. Just All right. keep going. So. Now the corner is free. Of course, Rarity thinks it's her corner now. I hate the little dot, the little laser dot thing that her camera seems to shoot out. She's I, so what cute. is the deal with that? Um, I guess I could take these. Like, down I gotta and... figure out what the fuck that is. So like, I know not to get a fucking camera that does that or whatever, or like figure out how to turn that shit off because that really bothers me. Well, just sit them up against this. I hate for that. Now. I really do. I hate the little dot. The weekend. These are also Felines, so. Hello, hello. We have a little Trader Joe's moment. Um, so I wanted to show you, but I got. Is that like, is that like not in the footage or something? Is she like fucking exporting this shit wrong or something? Like, I was, I'm so really confused. Some of this is Felines, so I'm just like taking her stuff and putting it out. But for me, I got some more of these coconut macaroons they're honestly so good um slightly addictive so i got me some of them i got a bag of these chicken cilantro mini wontons i figured oh i could put them boy. in the air fryer and try Trader them Joe's. for four pieces it's 50 calories for four of these air fryer is 50 calories you're not gonna air fry the wontons are you like ma'am what that's not many calories at all and then literally last but not least I get the feeling that waifu would be the type to we be like. Oh, sheeps just subscribe. Oh, sheeps. The sub is honestly so deep. So good. Maybe some for autofocus. Yeah, it's gotta be because it literally like points at things in the center. But I don't see this shit in other people's videos. You know? How's it going, Jake? Here. Get the feeling waifu would be the type to be like, check this out. Bet you haven't heard of them. Then play Red Hot Chili Peppers. Maybe. Like it was a small trip. I hello, got two more hello. bags of these Thai vegetable gyozas. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm so pronouncing funny. it wrong, let me know. But these are so good in the air fryer with some soy sauce and sriracha once they're done. Nah, cast iron. It's like my literal favorite thing ever. So I haven't really been filming much today, but hi. I'm currently eating my Thai uh, Geizos. It exploded. Fucking Geizo? Who the fuck is Geizo? In the air fryer. Now I'm afraid that I have a hernia. She's got to be all grossed out. Um, guys, I had a guys breakdown are, earlier. Love that for me. <laughs> their new pronouns. The TV's on right now. Guys, though. So if you hear that, that's what that is. But my eyes are super swollen. So why I'm really here is I'm going to show you. I completed another wannabe Lego. Don't this care. one is another one of them building ones. It's all the same shit. So back here, there's like a garden. There's a kitchen in there. There's a freaking... She should go see Barbie. Bedroom. Do you have the symptoms of a hernia? What are the symptoms? Another bedroom. 
There's a bathroom. There's a shower. Oh, you know what? Speaking of, can we get some? Can we get some? Uh, can we get some actual pronouns in the chat? Uh, if you feel like it, drop them. Because uh, every once in a while, it's nice to get a refresh. You always get some new people in here and whatnot. Or there's a living room. Feel free TV, if you feel like some it. Stairs. Let it was everyone so fun. know. And I want to keep giving you guys updates on this. him for me. Okay, so I just slammed my camera against the wall on accident. Please break it. Just break so it. So this is me testing. Do you still work? <laughs> Our pronouns are. I sure hope so. Hello. God damn it. Updates. My throat hurts. So. I'm about to Google, can crying too much make your throat hurt? <laughs> the increased effort to expand the oh, throat absolutely. and attention created oh, absolutely. by opposing contractions when talking or swallowing triggers pain and discomfort in the throat. Yep, that's not what I was looking for. Oh, common cold, strep throat, tonsillitis. I don't know what it is, but right here in my tonsil, it hurts. And I have not been sick, like with a cold or anything like that in freaking ages. Sorry, have an itch. <laughs> okay, so today- Full myself Googling if you can get a sore throat from crying. Not my day. <laughs> um, no, no. Hasn't been to Toxic Lake in a while. Her, her immunity must be down because of that. My day. The Delta 8. At all. Nowhere even close to it. I just feel myself breaking down more and more. Um, hernia, symptoms of hernia. As the night goes on, and I am tired of crying. But we do have a way in to do. Hey, we'll drowsy, drowsy bean. underscore bean just subscribe. Subscribe at tier one. Is that a is that a brand new subscribe right there? Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Let me see some sandwiches in the chat for drowsy bean. So as you guys lots know, lots of beans, lots of beans in here. What's everyone's favorite bean? That you know I love a garbanzo. I want to do that. I want to do. I think I'm slot. You know happy the difference between tired. a chickpea and it a just garbanzo means bean. Who's like super tired, so they're like goofy, loopy. That's how I feel right now. And also, it's just like my mentals and my emotionals and my the whole nine. It's been through the ringer today. Coffee bean. Like at its all time high. Refried. So Ooh. I'm just kind of struggling with that, and I've just had a hard time focusing on this vlog today. So I do apologize. It's a garlic. This bean. isn't the greatest vlog in the world. My day started on a high Is and it, it not? just eventually was like, woo, you know, so anyways, um, I did weigh myself today. As you guys know, I want to lose 56 pounds. That is my goal. So there's Toe 56 bean. sticks. Each one is numbered. Every pound Wilder I beans. I'm going to take one from here. Eric's other beans. You mean redacted, 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 redacted. Put it here. Each one has a number. The other and I have beans. questions that you guys have asked me. So my last one in actually I'm gonna was. Have to, I'm going to have to uh, f fucking ban. I'm going to have to ban his name. Five at 24. It will be one of those and today I was allowed terms. So that's two pounds down. So that means. Let's see those. We're picking two of these. So one. And two. All right. So I'm going to put this on the side here. Oh, wow. That's weird. <laughs> uh, for I, um, when I went to Sunday dinner last night, not last night, last week, uh, my mom's, I made um, a nice roasted corn and bean salad. Used, I think, some light red kidney beans. They call them light red. Uh, is that a thing? Light red kidney? Anyway, that and black beans to, to those giant cans of them. Some, some red onion. Some lime juice, juice of two lime. <laughs> so we're gonna do the first Roasted question. Roasted the five cobs of corn in the oven, rubbed with some oil. Question. Cut them off. And put yeah. that guy in there. Where do you physically notice weight loss first? Usually my face. Like my cheeks will definitely get Is smaller. These fucking Instagram this questions. Recipe for daddy's pasta. Daddy's pasta recipe. Parts less puffy um i will lose some of this and like some of this like neck fat so that's where i notice it first next one is 52 why do you think haters ignore the number one symptom of severe lipedema so actually when someone asked me that question what? on instagram they asked me it in a message on instagram and they went a little more into detail saying how they also have lipedema and that they have a very severe case and no matter how much they diet they can't lose weight haters hate her this one 
symptom of lipedema confuses all of them. And they also see a specialist who says that the number one symptom is weight gain, even as much as you try to lose the weight. So I think the haters <laughs> choose to ignore that and choose to think that I just need so 3,000 calories to lose weight and all this like crazy stuff. Did it's you figure out the uh, correlation between the shrines and the light roots? Yeah. Because they don't have the knowledge in lipedema. And I feel like there's a large group of people that like, even if they did have the knowledge, they don't care. And it's like, I have an illness, I have a disease, which is lipedema, which is causing my weight loss to happen very slow. And even with that reason, which it's not an excuse, it's a reason, it's a pain biological reason. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to. You want that fucking Panda Express to hit just right? Accept it because they just like believing and accepting anything that is the opposite of what I share. Anyways, I am going to end this video. This is probably a shorty, but that's okay. Some vlogs will be shorter. Hey, I just am not shawty. doing very well today. I do need to go put my clothes in the dryer because I'm doing a little laundry. And then I'm going to go <laughs> chill in bed. Um, I didn't, I didn't hear the response to the fucking lipedema thing or whatever. I guess it wasn't important. Get some sort of sleep, but I do hope that you yeah, guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, you should have really gotten that surgery. Time. Bye. I really don't like how she's just like, oh, no, I'm not ready for that surgery. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. The end. She's ill. She's ill. She's sick. She had mental illness. It's mental illness. She needs help. She should have just fucking committed to getting the surgery so that it would... <laughs> She was too deep in it. I mean, like, we were all saying, like, oh, it's a bad idea because she'll never commit to it afterward. But, like, I feel like she would have had a better fucking shot. I don't know. Let's let's get some comments from the latest video. When was this uploaded? Two hours ago. Fuck. Wow. How about that? Only ALR can make moving a shelf completely chaotic and pointless. That's so true. So true.